came out today instead. Do you guys think you would have changed the name of it or changed anything about it? Absolutely. No right. way. No way. It's Which from the year 3030. I think it's pretty awesome. It's yeah. way ahead of its time. It's from the future. <laughs> it still hasn't come out. Even if it came out in 2089, it would still be the same name because it's from 3030. It just exactly. might be in a different language because humans don't speak English anymore. In 3030. They speak Chinese and Japanese, but they still they don't they speak, speak English. <laughs> That's the alien language. Yeah. And you guys are going to be releasing the video for Radiator this week. Yes. So yeah. The 18th. Can, yes. What can everyone expect from that? Um, Basically the future. Yeah. Lasers. Lasers. Fog. Moon sci dust. Sci shiny stardust. Dust. Explosions. Yep. Cool outfits. <laughs> we don't want to give too much away. Sweat. We want people to see it. <laughs> well, we're excited for it. We Stink. want to know. We're excited too. <laughs> um, and have you guys ever felt pressured to write your music a certain way to please both a Christian crowd and a secular crowd? No, we just write what we want to write. You know. I mean, I think honesty and, and being yourself is a big part of spirituality too and you know, you know so our songs there's a very tongue-in-cheek element sometimes there's a very over-the-top fantasy element but I mean it, so far I think it's just it's who we are and we're, there's not a lot of normality to the bunch of people that write the songs <laughs> That's um, sure. but you know I mean I, I think people have responded and connected with it in different ways so like that and what's the most important thing you guys want listeners to take away after listening to Dance or Die? Happy. Ultron. I have to agree. <laughs> Happy and Voltron. Happy Voltron. Happy Voltron. Mm -hmm. Anything. Happy any Voltron. Tron. Voltron really Happy doesn't have very many facial expressions. He's kind of has that one. If you you know, could draw a happy Voltron. It's kind of like, like a record. Yeah, it's kind of like a happy birthday. But happy, happy Voltron, Voltron to, to you. Happy Voltron to you. Happy Voltron to you. Voltron. So happy Voltron to you. I mean, it, it, in essence, Happy Voltron is like bum bum. Dare to die because everybody's happy at their birthday, usually. When you get what you yeah. want, present, right? Or when people remember it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember any. Of and Dance or Die is like five it's the robots new that come together. Wait, that's our band name. Yeah. yeah. Family Force Five Dance or Die. That's yeah. what I said. Okay. <laughs> August nineteenth is now the new birthday for everybody. Yep. It's the day Dance or Die. So, Happy Voltron. <laughs> ah. And how is making that album different from making? other music you guys have done before. Um, we did a lot of it on the bus, man. Yeah. yeah. That was different. We didn't have as much time. Like on the first, everybody's first record, it's kind of like they have more time because it's like, they're like, yeah, they're this is my here. masterpiece and this is what I'm going to do to get into the industry and blah, blah, blah. And it's not out yet. And then when you come out with your sophomore record, you're like, wow, I have no time to stop and make another record. So we wrote most of it on the bus and re we recorded a lot on the bus. And we had this long drive home from British Columbia to Atlanta. 2,700 miles. So we sat in the bus and we were going insane. And, and so we wrote Dance or Die. It's pretty much a reflection of that. Born of insanity. Bus, yes. <laughs> and you guys do a lot of touring. Um, you just did the Dance for Our Dance 2 tour, and now you're on the Winter Wonder Slam tour. So are there any places that you guys haven't gotten to visit that you really want to visit? Japan. Japan. Yep. And New Zealand and Australia. So Which we're going to. Yeah. We're going there in Japan. Woo! No. Anyway, we're going there next month, or two months. And we also saw you guys um, are going to be doing an awesome tour in 2009, so can you guys tell us about that yet? No. No? no. Nothing? Nothing? No! I can tell you it's going to be awesome, and <laughs> check our MySpace after the new year. For that's, details. That's when we you say we're details or details? Details. Details. What do you say? I, d I say details, but details is what I say for another time. Year. 
And I'm Stay talking tuned. about like hey, you hey, tell me details of your life. Details like of my life. The shirt tails. What are details of, of this interview? That's what I asked our tour manager. What does this interview detail? Yeah. He said, you have an interview. I said, what are details? Are entails right. different than details? I don't know if there's entails. Like, does it entail? <coughs> is that a word? Entrails? Entrails. Entrails. Entrails is what you left eight times yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Remember when you dumped eight times yesterday? Yes. Because you got sick from the food the day before? Yes, thank you. We talked about it in the audio blog. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you gave lots of details of your entrails. Yep. <laughs> So, uh, okay. when you get sick on tour, that's what happens, and it hits 15 people. And I wasn't the only one, I just hold the world record. Dad! That's right. <laughs> um, in one of the Dirty Dirty Blogs, you guys said that you'd like to write with Matt T from Ryan K. So, since you guys have been touring together, have you guys collaborated on anything yet? That was Soul Glow that said that, so... Well, Soul Glow's a little sick right now, so... This is only the third day into the tour, so... Maybe next week. We haven't written with them yet, but during their set, they do play a song that's kind of a tribute to us. Five, five 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 goes, family gone. That's what they play. <laughs> five dollar foot subway song. But they say we're gone. Because it's we're not done really true, it's a lie, but yeah. we're not gone. We're right here. We're here. <laughs> Three fifths, guys. <laughs> Are there any other people that you guys would like to collaborate with in the future? Tim Milan, Dr. Luke, yep. uh, Matt Bellamy. Yeah. Uh, who else? Outcast man. Andre. Yeah. Him. Him. <laughs> Andre, big boy. You know. Maybe Eddie Van Halen. How did you guys come up with the concept for the Daily Real Show? It started out of episodes, which is what we just we just started filming us in like kind of crazy places out on the road and thought it'd be kind of entertaining and then we started putting them up there and we did a horrible editing job and just kind of slapped them up there and people actually dug them so we're like, oh, let's get some money in here, it's real. And that's where we got uh, Tempo to come in. We're about to put out volume one of The Real Real Show, which is seven episodes on DVD that's about to come out. So. We filmed uh, one of the episodes here, actually.